These scenes from the American West paint an apocalyptic picture of the region's ever-growing battle with wildfires. Hazy orange skies have been lingering over parts of California, Oregon, and Washington for much of the past two weeks. As of September 15th, 3.2 million acres have been lost to wildfires, roughly the size of Connecticut. Although devastating wildfires have been an unfortunate reality for the West for years, it has never been this bad, and it has never looked like this. And that's because these striking skies are the result of a reaction you might have learned about in physics class. The theory was actually proven by Sir Isaac Newton, who shined light through a prism to prove individual colors existed in light. These colors within light make up what you'll see in a rainbow. Each color travels in waves, with each wave having different wavelengths and frequencies. Red and orange have the longest wavelengths, while indigo and violet have the shortest. As these waves pass through our atmosphere, they encounter particles such as water vapor and atmospheric gases, and the colors of light react. It's a process called refraction. Smaller particles are the perfect size to refract blue light, which is why our sky is commonly blue. But larger particles, like smoke, block these short wavelength colors, leaving only long wavelength colors on display, orange and red. This summer's fires are so widespread and powerful that they're able to send smoke 50,000 feet into our atmosphere, 20,000 feet higher than the cruising altitude of jet airliners. That makes for a long, dense layer of particles for light to travel through. And of course, all this smoke causes more than just Blade Runner-like skies. The air quality in cities like San Francisco, Portland, and Seattle is at unhealthy levels according to the Air Quality Index, the worst quality of air on the planet. And maybe most importantly, these apocalyptic skies shine a light on how truly devastating this year's fires have been, a visible appeal for both a short and long-term solution to the West wildfire crisis.